Today we're going to be talking about how you can determine the pH of a solution of a weak acid. It's important in order to do that that you have the molarity of the weak acid and the Ka for the weak acid. Once you have those, you can write out the chemical equation for the acid ionization by reacting with water. Notice that we have an equilibrium arrow in this reaction. Then we include our information for our starting concentrations, which comes from our known concentration of the weak acid. We don't care about the concentration of water since it's the solvent and it doesn't change. And we assume that the conjugate base and the hydronium ion concentrations are both zero at the beginning. Because the conjugate base and the hydronium ion concentrations are both zero, that means the reaction has to go to the right to give us a little bit of conjugate base and hydronium ions. So we have our ice table, and then we can set up our equilibrium expression. Remember, an equilibrium for a weak acid is the conjugate base times hydronium divided by the HA concentration. And then we plug in the numbers that we have, the values that we have from our ice table, and we also set this equal to the Ka value. Now we go to solve this equation. We have the x squared divided by 0.3 minus x equal to 8 times 10 to the minus 5. First, in order to simplify our algebra, we'll assume that the minus x in the denominator is negligible. So then we can rewrite this without the minus x in the denominator, and that makes it much easier to solve for x by simplifying our um, values and isolating x squared on one side of the equation and then taking the square root to give us a value of x equal to 5 times 10 to the minus 3, which is equal to our hydronium ion concentration. We can use that to find the pH of the solution, which is 2.28.